So I've been using a few different music sites over the last few years because doing YouTube videos, you don't want to get copyright claims for popular music that you use that's just in the charts or anything like that. So using websites that have copyright free music um, is the best way to go about putting music in your YouTube videos and uh, social media videos. So I've used various different ones and there was one that I always really wanted to use but they only had an annual subscription and so as soon as they jumped on the whole monthly subscription thing dedicated to content creators I was just all over it and that was Artlist. So I've been wanting to use Artlist music for years and I recently got a monthly subscription so I've been using Artlist quite a lot in the last I don't know, definitely since like way before Christmas, um, using their music in my videos. And so I want to just tell you a little bit about them and why I really wanted to use them in the first place. So with Artlist, you're clear to use all this music for so many different scenarios. You can use it on social media, you can use it in wedding videos, you can use it on websites, you can use it for so many different things. The license is royalty free. And as a web developer, I can completely appreciate a well-designed interface. So I absolutely love using the site because it's really easy to use and everything's categorized nicely. The site just looks clean. You can find everything that you need. It's not clustered by loads of stuff. So when you're trying to determine what kind of song you're looking for you could just go straight to the home page and see what's new there's constantly new tracks being added all the time which is something that's really good as well because if you create a lot of content and you go through lots of tracks that are part of the genre that you would tend to use for your own videos and you can kind of exhaust a list of uh, a library list of music quite quickly but there's constantly new songs that are being added here which is awesome so I tend to first come to the home page and just see what's about and then I'll kind of listen to some of the tracks and then I'll start to narrow down the focus of what I'm actually looking for. So you can search for things via the mood of the video that you're creating or you can do it via the theme of the video. You can do a combination of mood, video theme, genre, instrument and also with this spotlight section this highlights all the uh, different music collections that you can go through and you can listen through. So if you were creating a travel vlog, you could listen to soundtrack uh, from that playlist. Or if you were creating uh, real estate videos, you can also go to that collection. And so it's, there's a lot of curated playlists and curated collections that you can actually go through to make searching through the library even easier. But if I just go back, So this is where I tend to start. So going for choosing my mood, choosing my video theme, and then just selecting a few of those. So let's just say documentary, and I want the mood to be uh, peaceful, for example. So you can go through, there's like, there's so many different tracks. And one of the features that I actually really like is if you find a track that you actually really like the sound of, and you don't wanna have to keep looking through this entire list to find other tracks that are similar to it you can toggle this on and that will put a few tracks that are similar to the track that you've just found so it just makes it easier to keep things a bit more consistent if you want that consistency in music through your video the other thing is sound effects so i tend to i will always have the microphone on my camera when i'm filming my b-roll so that I can actually capture the sound effects but sometimes it's just not always possible to get clean sound effects especially if you've got people talking in the background so what I tend to do is I'll come here and I'll find specific sound effects and again loads of different ones in here especially for transitions if you're doing transitions just literally you can go through here and pretty much find anything that you need for your videos so in terms of plans and pricing, there are three different plans and the different plans give you a different uh, license coverage. So the personal plan will give you a license coverage for social media, so all your social media accounts. You can only use one channel per platform, so you wouldn't be able to have one license for various different YouTube channels if you were um, if you had various different YouTube channels, it's just one license per 
uh, social media platform. But if you wanted to have unlimited coverage, then you go for the unlimited license and that would cover you for everything. You can use it on websites as well, commercial work, client work, that kind of thing. So it really gives you a good variety of options as to how you would want to use the music and where you'd want to use the music. So whilst I'm on the subject of content and all that kind of stuff, I thought I might as well mention ArcGrid and Motion Array. So ArcGrid is where I get stock footage and the great thing about ArcGrid and the thing that I really actually like about it is the fact that the quality of the content is really high. Um, all the video clips and also the fact that when you're getting a clip, you're getting a sequence of clips. So the filmmakers, the videographers, the cinematographers, they have actually put together sequences so that it keeps your content consistent when you're talking about it and using it in your footage and having different shots and close-ups and wides of the same scene, it just makes it really useful to actually plan your shots and put them into your content and just have that consistency and seamless transition between different clips and stuff. So that's really useful, that's what I really love about ArcGrid and also with Motion Array, there's just so many different templates for Premiere, After Effects, um, other video editing software as well. And it's just really high quality, there's loads of it, and it's unlimited if you have a subscription. So do check it out because adding motion graphics and templates to your videos is also just going to enhance the quality of them so well worth checking out Motion Array um, for that. So as I mentioned there are links in the description to Artlist and if you sign up for the annual subscription you will get two months free so do use the link in the description for that so that you get your two months and also if you want to sign up to Artgrid you will also get two months free for an annual subscription and if you want to sign up to Motion Array then you will get $50 off your annual subscription. So like I said use the links in the description and um, yeah you'll get those benefits. But yeah thanks for watching, catch you next time. Thank you.